Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's question, we're going to do a comparison between Python and C Sharp. And it's a question that I've kind of had coming in and it's also something that's kind of a passion of mine because I used to be a C Sharp developer back in the day and then I've currently, you know, I guess, I don't know, in the last four or five, I don't know, maybe six years, <laughs> I've learned uh, Python. So I thought it'd be good to kind of Go through some of that, you know, especially if you're just starting out, maybe you're in high school or, you know, maybe you're in college or maybe you're even looking, you know, to, to make a jump into data engineering or machine learning engineering. And you're like, hey, man, there's C Sharp out here. There's Python. You know, what are some of the differences and what should I learn? So find out right after this. So. Today's episode of Big Data, Big Questions, I wanted to do some of the differences between Python and C-sharp. So first thing, we'll start off with C-sharp. So C-sharp, uh, you know, heavily developed by Microsoft, I think it was released in 2000. It's an object-oriented programming language. So you see it a lot, like I used it, for instance, um, back when I was doing like ASP.NET, but you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do, use it for. Hep, you know, relies on the uh, .NET framework. So, you know, you have to have the .NET framework to be able to go and they are in version like 7.0. So, you know, primarily used, I used it a lot for web application development, but you can do a lot of different things with it, um, build out really complex and awesome applications, whether it be, you know, a desktop application, whether it be, you know, web, uh, mobile, they've just got, we've got so much of a uh, community that there's a lot of different things that you can do with it. Another thing too, you know, one of the comparisons to it is it looks just like Java. So it was another reason that I kind of rotated to it because, you know, one of my first languages I learned was, I think it was, I learned VB first, but um, I did a lot of stuff around Java. And actually when I graduated uh, out of uh, college, I thought I was going to be a Java developer for a long time. So really got ingrained in that community there. So, you know, fast forward to, you know, being a web developer and uh, transition into C sharp. It was a it was a really natural kind of uh, process for me. So, like I said, you know, heavy heavy community, heavy you know packages and you know frameworks and you know thing, things to be able to use. See it a lot with Microsoft, right? Like if you if you're doing C sharp, you're probably using um, Visual Studio or I think it's VS Code. I think they, they've got a couple different um, uh, IDEs for development and everything like that. So see it a lot there. So Python, if you've been following this channel, you've probably seen a ton of videos that we've done around Python. So Python was developed in 1991. Um, it's in version three. So we talked about C-sharp being in version seven. Python's in version three. I wouldn't put a lot into that, right? Because we talked about C-sharp being in 2000 and you know Python's been around since 1991. So heavily involved, both of them, you know, it's object oriented just like that, just like uh, C-sharp. But also, you know, you see it a lot used in, I mean, for sure data analytics, but you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different other frameworks that you can use to do web development. So pretty much you can do anything you want with uh, Python. You do have to install Python and have that running in your version. Sometimes that can be a little bit clunky, especially, you know, maybe in a windows environment, but you know, it's something that you can, you can download and start playing with and have going, you know, on your machine, you know, I, man, probably in like less than five minutes, you know, so maybe I should do a video on that, but you know, you can go ahead and download that and be be up and running and start running your own code. Huge community support, so there's a ton of things out there for it. Like I said, you know, talked about. I think I think even in our uh, book review, we talked about some of the books for data engineers. I think there were two or three Python books that I had, um, ver you know, showed there too. So, you know, heavy heavy use there. Um, like I said, a lot of involvement from data analytics, whether it be data scientists or machine learning engineers, and you know, just like with TensorFlow or PyTorch, a lot of the uh, deep learning frameworks that we've talked about on this channel, you know, have have Python APIs. So the question is: so you're a data engineer just starting out, which one should you learn? So I'm going to go through three different questions where we're going to talk about, you know what you should learn and you know which one which one is better right and i and i hate doing which one is better because each one each one is a different tool and you know some tools are better at other things or you know have you know have have more functionality to do certain tasks so let's jump right into it so which one is easier to learn Ooh, so if i were, you know i'm having to put myself in there because i'm i'm biased as far as the um you know c sharp and just having been a part of that community and like i said my first language being in vb which is you know sim similar and then ton of work in Java. So, you know, C sharp on, on, on the premise, 
kind of looked uh, a little bit easier. But the way I'm going to do this criteria is which one do I think is easier to get up and get started from a data engineering perspective or data analytics perspective. And I'm going to have to give it to Python. Like I said, can be a little clunky when you're first installing it. But, you know, if you if you were just able to open up a, you know, a Linux, you know, build out a Linux machine, you know, you can do, you know, especially if you're in the Red Hot, you can do, you know, yum install Python and you can start scripting away on some of the code there. Then also too, you know, I'll give it, I'll give it to Python just from the perspective of a lot of, a lot of things from a data analytics perspective. So number two, I'm a data engineer. I'm a machine learning engineer. Which one should I learn today? Which one, you know, would, would, would I start off with if I had to choose, I can only choose between Python and C sharp. I would probably go with Python, right? Like go ahead and learn Python. I would, you know, encourage anybody on this, watching this channel, jump into that community. Um, there's a ton of books out there. We've talked about on this channel where you can go and, you know, learn how to do data analytics from, from that perspective. So, um, Python's going to get the, get the win there. Which one do I enjoy coding in more? So personal preference, man, I think C sharp will always kind of have that win for me. But like I said, you know, this is a data engineering channel, but you know, like I said, you know, I started off as a web developer. So, um, I, you know, I, I, I really like visual studio and I, and I know there's some plugins you can do, um, you know, with VS code, you can use that as your IDE for uh, Python and everything like that. But there's just something about C sharp and that language that I really, really found comfortable and probably will always have a special place in my heart. Like I said, just coming from a Java perspective and everything like that. So I'll give that the win, you know, so, you know, the, the, the overall win, the overall win between the three categories, if you're a data engineer, machine learning engineer, you have to start somewhere. I'd say start with Python, go through some of the tutorials. I've got some on this channel. I've got some on my uh, blog, but, you know, get started there. But, you know, I hope you enjoy this. Tell me what you think. What do you think? Did I miss something on the differences? You know, would you have chosen C Sharp as something to start off with? Do you like Python better than C Sharp, you know, versus, you know, like I said, C Sharp has a special place in my heart. Let me know in the comment section below or if you have any questions that you want me to answer on the show, put it in here and then make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss an episode of Big Data Big Questions.